this is our home, um, which is Leatherhead's oldest domestic building as far as we know. And also on our site is Fire and Dying Gallery, which is my business, where we show work by leading artists, blacksmiths from all over the country. I love it. I've grown up with Heritage Open Days in the sense, or grown old with it, in the sense that, you know, I've lived here for years and we've been doing Heritage Open Days for years. It feels, I think it is decades. It's interesting in its own right, it's educational um, for people to see inside interesting buildings that they don't normally get access to. But in addition, as the owner of one of those properties, I like this challenge that's set every year, this, this theme that makes me think, okay, what, what can I find out? What can I tell people about? We change the way that we do Heritage Open Days every year um, because we're looking at different aspects of the building and also the area. And this year's theme is about land and the landscape. Um, so we're looking around our house and so this year when people arrive we've got two tours where we'll be explaining all of that. We've got a PowerPoint presentation and we'll be showing people around the ground floor of the house um, and for the first time in many years I'll be going down. So underneath where I'm sitting right now is this very strange, um, much older building that we call a cellar um, but we don't really know what it is. So this is the year we decided um, that for the theme of sort of landscape, what was this old building, how did it fit in its landscape?